Six people, including a gunman, are dead after a horrific shooting in a Vaughn condo. Good afternoon. The shooting occurred last night at a condo complex on Jane Street near Rutherford Road. Five people were killed before the gunman was killed after a confrontation with police. CTV's Janice Golding is live on the scene with more on this story. Janice. Hi, Nathan. We're still learning new information. In fact, as we speak, a news conference with the Special Investigations Unit is expected to commence. Uh, police are on location as well as the SIU after six people were shot and killed, including the suspected gunman in this building right behind us here. Emergency workers load one person into a waiting ambulance while heavily armed police officers surround a condominium at Jane Rutherford. They're running around so much that I don't think they even like had a thought to clear the scene. Five people in the building had been shot and killed, another person injured, and Kat would learn a shooter was on the loose. So then I took the dog for a walk and then I walked in on the scene of uh, a firefighter performing CPR on somebody and um, it was really... I would say traumatizing experience for everybody watching and I'm guessing, you know, I didn't know what was happening inside. Nobody was really saying anything, but as soon as SWAT came, we knew that there was an active shooter in the building. So, um, yeah, we pretty much went home and locked our doors. <laughs> the 73 year old gunman would be killed after an interaction with police. There's no further threat to the community at this point. Uh, and uh, right now we're just uh, offer sincere condolences to the victims, families, Multiple reports indicate that the victims were found in different units in the building. On behalf of the people of Vaughan, I want to offer my very sincere condolences to the families of those victims who lost their lives yesterday in the shooting. Uh, I know that we all sincerely hope for a speedy recovery for the individual who was wounded. John Santoro says the scene last night was frightening. I did hear a commotion in the corridor, and when I opened my door, the police were in the corridor and basically... Uh, I had a rifle not pointed directly at me, but there was two officers with rifles right outside my door in the elevator lobby. Santoro says the alleged shooter lived in the building. Uh, I've had him in my apartment several times. You know, uh, he was not a monster. I think he was just someone that was failed by the system. The building resident also says the shooter had issues with a number of people, including members of the condominium board. I think in a way, I was lucky that I was trying to help him. Uh, if I wasn't trying to help him, my story could have been changed uh, tremendously last night. Police were first called about a shooting in progress around 7.20 last night. When they arrived, there was an interaction between an officer and an armed man, and the officer fired his weapon. The man would be pronounced dead at the scene. And a news conference on the scene is just underway now. This is with the Special Investigations Unit. Let's see what we can well, find out. I mean, I'd be speculating. However, I would think it would have something to do with the, the man um, shooting people. Did police recover a weapon? The police uh, and the SIU have recovered a weapon, yes. Describe the weapon? What it was? Like, what type of gun? The weapon was a semi-automatic handgun. Was there ammunition with it? There would have been, but however, I don't have details beyond what the weapon was, which was a semi-automatic handgun. Do the man fired on police. Do we know if the man fired on police? How long was the standoff between the time when the police uh, uh, saw him and spoke to him? And yeah. I don't have specifics on that. All I have is that police were called at about 7.20 and the man was pronounced deceased at about 8 p.m., so somewhere in that time frame. Was there a known relationship? We were listening to a lot of updates from the province of special investigations. Uh, I'm sure there, there, there are reports out there that there, uh, there is some sort of communal threat or something. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. As I said before, the SIU, really the focus of the SIU is potential criminality, criminality involving police and the person who was killed. The focus of uh, the York Regional Police investigation would be motive um, kind of more circumstantial type thing. Um, so it would be York that would be investigating the homicide. Can you confirm? Sort of I don't have any information as far as the any potential criminal history of the man who was killed. Can you just confirm if he was killed by police and if there was an exchange of gunfire? I don't believe there was an exchange of gunfire. I don't have information on that. I believe it was one officer who fired at the man and did, he was killed. Did the suspected shooter have more than one weapon on him? I know you said one was recovered. Were there any more handguns or guns? One recovered. One one handgun recovered. That's the information I have. Can you talk about if there were any life-saving efforts uh, after uh, he was shot? Yes. The information I have is paramedics were called and the man was taken to ambulance and he was pronounced deceased at 
at the scene. And, sir, and in terms of timeline, you said uh, police were called here at 7.20. What time was the man shot and killed? Like, was this an hour later or within, you know, 20 minutes? Yeah, I, I really can't confirm that. All I can confirm is the man was pronounced deceased just after 8 p.m. and that the initial calls came in at about 7.20. Can you provide genders and ages of the victims? No, however, I understand York is having their press conference at about 2 o'clock this afternoon, so I imagine there'll be uh, further information in that regard. And they're all then. residents of the building, the victims? Is that something you can elaborate on? I don't have confirmation on whether they were residents. Um, I would suspect that they were, however, I, I really don't know for sure. Christy, was it one officer who met the, the gunman, or were there, was there a group of officers and just one of them discharged his my understanding, it was one officer who discharged. There may have been more officers. However, one one officer discharged. So therefore, if the, with the in the context of the SIU investigation, there's one subject officer who has been designated, and that would be the officer who discharged the firearm and shot and killed the man. I'm sorry, this is the active was... shooting. Can you, I don't know if you have this information or if you share this, but was it on multiple floors? Was it on one floor? When police got the call here, was it to go to a certain floor of this building? I really don't have information on sort of the context of it. Um, the information I do have and can confirm is that there were multiple deceased located on several floors. Do you know if he was looking for other victims at the time that the police uh, encountered him? I do not know. I can't. I can't speak to that really. Yeah. I believe you said did all the shootings take place in hallways, or were, did he did he enter or force his entry into any units? I can't say. I actually don't know where uh, the shooting specifically took place. All I have is that there were multiple deceased located on several floors. And where was he shot and killed again? On In a hallway. Um, that's the information I have. Do you know if he came out of a unit and he had that interaction with police when he came out of the unit? I don't have specifics on that, no. No, just that it was in a hallway. And how many shots were fired by the police officer? More than one shot. Was there any ex uh, exchange of, you know, not a conversation, but any words exchange? I don't, I don't know at this time, yeah. Um, so right now, um, there's interviews taking place. There would be uh, an interview request for the subject officer, the officer who fired the weapon, and there may be potential officers who would be designated as um, uh, civilian um, um, uh, subject officers and witness officers, and then there would be uh, potential civilian witnesses being interviewed. So those investigations are ongoing at this time, and there will be further details um, released at the conclusion of our investigation. Was he shot um, on, on his floor, on the floor where his unit was? I don't have information specifically where he was shot, no. I'd have to get back to you. Where in his body was he struck? I don't know at this time. Yeah. And sorry, did you say that he was actively shooting when he was found by police and killed? I don't have that. Do you know what the process police would take to identify the suspect? Like, what would they do after he was shot? I'm not sure I understand. ID so you're watching a live news conference with the SIU. This is the police watchdog. They, They've been called the in because last night a police officer uh, a fired on the shooter and that shooter died. So they're going to be uh, in, um, investigating that aspect of this. We've learned just now a weapon was recovered, a semi-automatic handgun. Also, the, the multiple deceased, five people were shot. They were found on several floors and that from the time police were called to the time time that this shooter was killed was about 40 minutes. So this is just in the early stages. You can see a barrage of questions there. Still so much we don't know. York police are going to be giving a news conference this afternoon where we hope to learn more about all the victims in this story. And we'll let you